forecast in less than 10 minutes. Day camps are up and running across the state. Governor Cuomo gave the green light last month. Not every camp has decided to open, but the, some have been welcoming campers. Near Prince Roger Park in Bay Terrace, that's the site of the Common Point Queens Day Camp. Uh, Roger, this has been uh, a long time coming for, for the councillors, for the campers. So here, here they are with summer, and you've got a pool behind you. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, and we've been talking about it for a couple of months, Pat. Did several stories about it. We talked to the folks from Common Point, Queens. They were pretty confident that they would be able to have some type of camp this summer because they had been doing emergency child care for essential workers, and they've been doing the whole thing with temperature checks and this and that. They're pretty confident they could do it. The governor gave the green light, and here we are. Camp is on. Swimming. Dancing. Playing. This is Camp Common Point, run by the nonprofit community services organization Common Point Queens. It's summer camp, but one designed for the coronavirus era. We feel really excited and grateful that we were able to get this off the ground and offer camp to our community. Common Point is running camps at five locations, including here at the Bay Terrace Center. Each day, campers are screened before entry. That includes some probing questions. Have they been temperature free? Have they been in contact with anybody who tested positive? It's our way to screen people into the program and then we take their temperature. Typically, Common Point has around 1,200 campers in its programs. This summer, that number is just 300. So the children can keep a healthy distance from each other. Groups or pods of 10 to 15 children travel to camp together in buses and stay together the entire day. Social distancing is stressed including sports where competitive games are replaced by skill development activities. We're minimizing the contact. We don't, we want to keep the kids as healthy as possible. And based on the current recommendations from the Department of Health, um, that is what we're following. There are protocols in place if a camper or staff member experiences symptoms or comes in contact at home with someone with the virus. Camp Director Melissa Alvernati, who designed the program, says she believes kids have a mental and emotional toll from the past months, and they really need camp. I can speak selfishly as a parent. When I saw my son pack his bag for camp the first day, his eyes lit up in a way I haven't seen in four months. We really do believe that the right thing is for our, our young people to be laughing and socializing and back in a regular routine. Yeah, the kids did seem like they were really having a blast yesterday. Also, to get into the facility, Pat, there's three different entrances, so you never really have a giant log jam of people. And they take it very seriously. I mean, they took my temperature yesterday when we came in to, you know, shoot the piece. This morning, there's only two other people on the premises as we speak, me and Guido and uh, my uh, truck operator, camera person today. Uh, we got our temperatures taken the minute we walked in again. So they're taking it very seriously. And, and the idea, though, is, is that you... You limit the number. Not every kid is exposed to every other kid. Right, yeah, they travel around in these pods, and, you know, they're always together. And one thing that, you know, in the past, they've had situations where a kid might go to a camp for two weeks, then go visit grandma for a week, and then come back and start again. That is not happening anymore. You have to go straight through. You can start late and be screened, but you can't go anywhere and then come back. They just don't want that because that defeats the whole purpose of keeping the kids together. Right. All right. Roger, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.